Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back everyone hmm, I think you may remember me Since I have not uploaded since like What, a few months ago But yes Welcome to another video tutorial Where I show my face Now, uh, if you haven't noticed yet the title We are going to use the Codular website, it's a pretty good website, you can make applications and stuff. So today, we are going to make a battleship game on Codular. Now, what I mean by game, I mean it's basically like a little a little button where you press it and and then you win like that's literally it it's not even a game it's just I don't know cutscene or something but anyways let's just continue to the subject now first make yourself a project I have already made it I mean you don't really have to change anything yet uh, and then you can go to screen one and then over here you have the screen orientation you want to change that to landscape because you know landscape battles now you can hide the option menu and the status bar or even the title so now you have this only which is interesting well, it's quite hard to scroll on here so after that you want to get yourself a uh, search for canva canvas and place it over here then horizontal arrangement and you place it below uh, make sure they are fill parent set the height and width to fill parent on both of them because it's just good to see now since this is going to use some battleship or any kind of asset you can just change the color to anything else since I am using boats and stuff I am going to change it to blue just like the color of the sea and then set oops hold on that wasn't quite right okay let's just use this okay there it is oh, it looks good I guess now after that you can insert yourself two more important things and that is the sprites insert two image sprites and then after that get yourself a ball and then after getting yourself a ball search for a button now there is a lot of things already and I will explain in a minute why and lastly you need a player so place it over yeah okay just place it over here now you may be asking why are we adding a lot of stuff okay now since that is image sprite one what you wanna do is okay let me just change it to a small one what you wanna do is to grab this the sprites since this is the first one we're going to place it over here and for the second one we can just place it over here it's very nice and then the ball uh, make sure that the ball is not visible because you don't want it visible and now we are going to click on the first sprite and we are going to upload an asset now I've already gotten myself a few boat asset that I made myself which is really simple I suppose it's not it's not bad but yeah it's just boats uh, for the first sprite, just give it this thing. Now for the height and width, you can set it to 50-50. Yeah. Sometimes it happens like that, but don't worry. It will fix itself. If that happens to you, just set it to 54 and then 55 again. Same with this one. Just set it to 50-50. No, not 500. There. Now, if it 
looks with then just adjust the things now another important thing is to set off the rotation and then give it speed I suggest him for both of them by clicking and then for heading to 270 because it's a good heading okay for the sprites we should be done now for the text button we can just click on the horizontal arrangement and then we're going to set it uh, center and center I guess you can do anything with it okay. and then we're not going to use an image instead we are going to uh, go to text button click on it if you want to use it and then we are going to change the shape to an oval change the height and width to 50-50 or, or 80-80 just change it to whatever you want and then just use a fire so uh, go to blocks uh, I cut the video for some reason which is yeah. now go to blocks and then you are going to make the script now since I'm going about to make the script, I'm just going to move my webcam over here. Okay, this should be good. Now go to control, actually no. First go to button 1 by scrolling and then when button 1 click, do. And then you are going to select on the uh, what, ball. Yeah, select the ball. First you can grab this and then you can also grab this uh, change it to visible now oh wait hold on this is the wrong one hold on okay now the correct one is actually this one okay so grab something that looks like this and then change it to visible and then go to logic and set it to true and then put this below and then grab image sprite 1 hold on it's gonna appear so yeah we just need to wait okay there it is so oh, it took long enough duplicate that set it to xy because that just goes to that position I'm not sure what is covering my face. Either way, you should be good if your script look like this. Now after that, you can also set the ball speed to a number. Okay, let me just move this to this. Go to math to this number, change it to 10. And then after that, can go to player and then set player one source to now go back to designer okay and then just uh, go anywhere upload a file now I have a weird file named uh, yeah this one's should be good now as you see this is the name of my image or I mean the name of my mp3 or sound effect I guess you can go to text and then go to up here and then set player one source to bone crack bone crack sound effect just like this very nice Okay, after you completed doing that, you can go to a uh, hold on. Go back to player and then call player start. Now that will be the first script. Now for the second one, what you wanna do is to grab the ball and then this one. When ball collided with other. Basically the script when the ball collides with something, you know. And then go to control, grab E then, and then after grabbing that, you can go to logic, grab this one, 
and then go to player go to image sprite 2 and then after that go to the bottom of it and grab this one so hold on now that place this on the edge of it and then grab other get other from that oopsie okay make it something like this hold on there it should look like this somehow now after making that you can just go to uh, since image on sprite you can go to this no, get the set visible wall here and set it to false go to image sprite 2 and okay, I got the wrong one but it should be similar set image sprite 2 visible to false and then play the bone crack sound effect and then start and we are completed hopefully go back to designer admire your work and then you can just go ahead and play test now let me just now you see my phone i am uh, i'm going to yeah scan the code uh, hold on let me just scan the code and okay it is as you see it's establishing a secure connection and i am going to show you how it looks it should be very good trust me now okay uh, here it is whoa really good huh so as you see there is the fire button now watch your oh hold on yeah i am going to press the fire button over here as you see it plays the bone crack sound effect oh my god look at that whoa that is so realistic okay yeah that's basically it i mean you can just play the game over and over again but what's the point well at least it's fun to make so if you're new to this kind of stuff go ahead and try it if you want thank you for watching and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh have a pleasant day